Germany, World War II. Hitler's most brilliant scientists raced to create an arsenal of terrifying new weapons of mass destruction. Here is the top 10 most secret weapons of Nazi Germany. Fritz X. Considered by many to be the grandfather of the modern smart bomb, the Fritz X was one of Hitler's most secret bombs. This radio-guided glide bomb was intended to use against heavily protected targets such as battleships and heavy cruisers, which wasn't a problem considering the warhead carried over 700 pounds of explosives. Goliath Tracked Mine. Also known as beetle tanks to the Allies, these little remote controlled bombs could clear out bunkers, destroy tanks, and disrupt infantry formations. These small contraptions could carry up to 100 kilograms of high explosives at top speeds of around 6 miles per hour, which isn't that bad considering what they were carrying. The V-2 rocket. It was the world's first long-range ballistic missile. The liquid propellant rocket was developed during the Second World War in Germany as a vengeance weapon, designed to attack Allied cities in retaliation for Allied bombings against German cities. The V-2 rocket was also the first man-made object to cross the boundary of space. Scherver Gustav, also known as the Great Gustav or Heavy Gustav. This is the single largest cannon ever built and used in history, designed by Krupp Industries. This ultra-heavy railway gun weighed over 350 tons and could fire 7-ton shells up to a range of 29 miles. Fortunately, the only country they could successfully fire at was Russia the only country large enough for this weapon to actually hit. The Horton HO-229, retrospectively described by many as the world's first stealth bomber. This was the first pure flying wing plane to be powered by a jet engine. Developed by the Horton brothers, this tailless aircraft with fixed wings resembles B-52 stealth bombers made by the USA. Sonic Cannon. This may sound like the stuff from science fiction, but during the early 1940s, Nazi engineers had managed to develop a sonic cannon that could literally shake a person apart from the inside. Or at least that's what they claim. Designed by Dr. Richard Wallencheck, the cannon consisted of a methane gas combustion chamber leading to two large parabolic reflectors, the final version of which had a diameter of over three meters. The Land Cruiser P-1000 Rat was a design for a super heavy tank for use by Nazi Germany during World War II. It was designed in 1942 by Krupp with the approval of Adolf Hitler, but the project was canceled by Albert Speer in early 1943 and no tank was ever completed. At 1,000 metric tons, the P-1000 would have been over five times as heavy as the Panzer Maus, the heaviest tank ever built. The V-3 cannon. This was another so-called Nazi vengeance weapon. It was a massive super gun, built directly into a hill and capable of firing artillery shells across the English Channel from France to London. The V-3 operated according to a multi-charge principle in which the secondary propellant charges were fired to progressively accelerate the projectile as it moved along the barrel of the cannon. During trials in May of 1944, the V-3 achieved a range of up to 88 kilometers, 
and in tests in July of 1944 saw shells reach a distance of 93 kilometers. Silbervogel. Silbervogel, German for silver bird, was a design for a liquid propellant rocket powered suborbital bomber produced by Eugen Sanger and Irene Brett in the late 1930s for the Third Reich, Nazi Germany. It was the contemporary equivalent of modern day drones. Sun Gun. Although this sounds more like something a movie villain would think of, the Sun Gun was a theoretical orbital weapon that was researched by the Nazis during the war. The concept was first devised in 1929 by the German physicist Hermann Oberth. He designed a space station from which a 100 meter wide concave mirror would be used to reflect sunlight onto a concentrated point on Earth. Do you agree with our list? Tell us in the comments below about other top secret Nazi weapons. For more great videos published every day, make sure to subscribe to Make My Logic right here on YouTube.